Black Panther, Wakanda Forever is coming to theaters. It will be released on November 11th. Now, all cards on the table. I wasn't really planning on going to see this movie anyway, at least not in the theater. But now I'm doubling down on that because uh, we have this here. Social justice activist says white people must skip Black Panther Wakanda forever on opening weekend to do anything other than this is anti-black. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are living in the Matrix or clown world or something along those lines because you can't make this stuff up. You really can't. In arguably one of the most predictable discourse developments imaginable, Black Panther Wakanda Forever has been declared so important for the black community that white audiences must refrain from attending opening weekend screenings of Black Panther Wakanda Forever in order to prove that they are down for the cause. I don't know what cause they're talking about. What cause? that, that And why... Why is this movie so important for the black community? It's a superhero movie. It's not... It's it's not... This is not going to make black lives better. Black people's lives better. Except for the black people that are starring in the movie, I guess. This needlessly divisive rhetoric was first raised in an October 24th TikTok video posted by... Self-described social reform activist, heavily emphasis, he, heavy emphasis on self-described, as even her own website appears to list her credentials in the field as little more than the operation of a seemingly defunct personal blog, Lavender Lee. And right here, there she is. We can hear it from the horse's mouth. So let's uh, let's have a listen to what Lavender Lee has to say. This message is to all our would-be accomplices and white allies. This message is to all the white people who have BLM in their bio. If you really want to prove to black people that you love us and you care about us and you are down for the cause, do not go see that movie opening weekend. You buy your ticket, you give it to a black person or a black family who can't afford to go. And then you go sit at. That's right. You go buy a ticket for this movie. You seek out a black family that can't afford to go. Show up at their house and say, hey, I got tickets to the Black Panther Wakanda forever for you. I know that you don't have any food. I know that uh, you can't pay your electric bill. Uh, I know that uh, your children are wearing old clothes with holes in them because you're poor. And I'm not saying that this is exclusive to black people. I mean, there's white people, white families that are just as in bad shape. But you show up at their house with a bunch of movie tickets. Say, here, go see Black Panther. It'll, it, it, it's so important for you. It will change your life. It won't feed you. It won't put clothes on your back. It won't pay your electric bill. But you'll get to see the Marvel movie. That, that is so important to the black community. At that theater in front of the doors. Let's you back make that sure up. that every family who can't afford to go. And then you go sit at that theater in front of the doors. You make sure that every black person in that theater can enjoy that movie in peace. You make sure that you use your body to block us from anybody who would be coming in that theater to do us harm. That. So we so we're supposed to give away these tickets and then we're supposed to form a human shield in front of the movie theater a, a human shield of whiteness in front of the movie theater to protect the people the black people that are in that movie theater to watch this movie because damn it somebody's coming to get them I don't know who that somebody is she might know that some somebody that 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 person or people or persons that are going to show up at that theater to hurt them while they're watching Black Panther, but they're not going to get to them because there's going to be a big old white human shield 
Standing right outside the theater. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever heard anything more hilarious. That is your job. To block us from block anybody them. who would be coming in that theater to do us harm. That is your job. You can go see it on another weekend. Go see it on the second or third weekend. No, but thank the first you. weekend, that's for us. To do anything other than this is anti-black. That's right. To do anything other than give away your ticket and form a white human shield is anti-black. So if, if you don't go buy a ticket and you decide to just stay home on November 11th, then you're anti-black. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you because I wasn't planning on seeing this anyway. It's uh, it's it's really not something I want to see. The first the first Black Panther was was okay. I, I enjoyed it. It was a nice popcorn movie. It wasn't the incredible, you know, spectacle that they said it was going to be. It, it, it was a, it was a, you know. Generic, midway pleasing Marvel movie with terrible CGI. I mean, anybody would agree this the 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 fight between uh, the two Black Panthers was was terrible. It really was. Let's look down here because there's more. There is. There's more. This message for all our world accomplices and white allies. Lee dismissively opened her now deleted post. That's right. She deleted it. But it's still there because people are uh, people are good. They, they save things like this. They won't let people get away with idiotic crap. This message to all the white people who have BLM in their bio. If you really want to prove to black people that you love us, and that you care about us, and that you're down for the cause, go see Black Panther Wakanda Forever opening weekend. <laughs> oh, do not go see. Sorry. And uh, we heard her say all this. Use your body to block us from anybody who'd be coming to theater to do us harm. That's right. Unironically, and without a hint of self-awareness, <laughs> Lee has bafflingly, bafflingly, Encourage white individuals to not patronizingly seek to not <laughs> to not only patronizingly seek out poor black people and not only do their righteous duty of buying them a ticket to the latest Marvel CGI Smash Fest instead of offering any realistic help, like I said, but also act as their saviors against her fantasy group of racist mass attackers. It just it just boggles my mind. That is your job. You can go see it on another weekend. I'm not going to. I'm not going to the theater to see this. I wasn't planning on going to the theater to see it anyway. And now I'm going to take her advice. I'm not going to go see it. I'm going to stay home. November 11th is Veterans Day. I'm a veteran. I'm going to sit home and thank veterans and be happy that I'm a veteran and thank other veterans. Unsurprisingly, Lee is not the only person to be pushing the idea that Black Panther Wakanda Forever's opening weekend should be segregated. Talking to his personal Twitter account on October 26th, Hollywood Critics Association founder Scott Menzel challenged all non-POC person of color critics, journalists, big and small, to email their PR contacts and give up your seat tonight to tonight's Wakanda Forever premiere or tomorrow's screening to a critic or entertainment journalist of color. So even white journalists are not allowed to go see this. He already gave his seat away. Gave it away. Of course, the elephant in the room is that it seems white people are being positioned in a racist catch-22 should they turn up to catch the film on opening weekend, ostensibly helping to support the narrative that black women can lead the box office globally. And uh, we kind of saw that it couldn't with the woman king. That's a whole nother story. It seems they'll be deemed as an anti-black bigot for depriving a black individual a seat 
to one of the thousands upon thousands of screenings of the latest Disney product. However, should they instead stay at home and delay their viewings of Black Panther Wakanda Forever, they'll undoubtedly be accused of refusing to support films led by non-white casts. Damned if they do, damned if they don't. Such is the ideological trap of critical race and social justice theories. It just goes to prove that SJW, social justice warriors, are freaking idiots, man. They're idiots. They, they don't think... If only black people show up to see this movie on opening weekend, it's not going to make any money. It's not going to make the money that it could if the entire population was allowed to go see it. I mean, they don't say anything about Asians. Are Asians allowed to show up? They don't say anything about uh, Mexicans or, or Latinos. Are they allowed to show up? I mean, you're just making white people stay out. What if a Mexican shows up? Are you going to harangue him? Are you going to harass him about, hey, you can't be here. What if a Chinese person shows up? You get the hell out. You're not black. You, but you said I you said I, only white people were supposed to stay home. I mean, they're just they're just morons. So take take her advice. <laughs> stay home. Look at her. God, she looks like an idiot anyway. Look at those glasses. Do you need glasses that big? And of course she has something you know, jammed through her nose and through her lip and just, God, just narcissist. I know I just, she's, she's, <laughs> it just really makes me angry. <clears throat> so once again, like I said, take my advice. Don't go see it on opening weekend. Don't go see it on the second weekend. Don't go see it on the third weekend. Wait till it comes out on uh, Disney Plus. If you even want to see it, if you don't have Disney Plus, then don't don't see it at all. It's not a, it's especially according to her, for white people, it's not important for us. Anybody that might be interested in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and interested in its continuity and wanting to see every movie that they come out with, according to her, you know, we can skip this one. And uh, I mean, I skipped the Eternals, and I'm just fine. It, I still understand what's going on in the in the in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So uh yeah. Take her advice. Stay home. Uh enjoy yourself or go out on November eleventh and thank a veteran. If you like what you heard, I thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Or please like and share this video. Uh, and ring the bell for notifications, and I will see you later.